on guys and welcome back to my channel this is a 3d print geek and if you're into 3d printing photography and drones start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything we're talking about the Elfin 2 Mono SC from Nova 3D today and in particular we're talking about taking care of the FAP on uh, on your printer my FAP probably needs to be changed I thought it was all uh, you know fuzzy and dark and ruined because of of all the prints I've done and after a couple of failed prints uh, I mean talking about files that were already sliced and printed correctly the only thing I can think about is changing the the fab and I'm gonna show you today how to do that one of the first thing we want to do when handling resin is be protected and put gloves and a mask on to prevent inhaling you know horrible substances that can irritate your throat it happened to me a couple of times I said okay no it won't be any problem and I breathed a lot of resin and it was not that nice empty the tray filter the resin get to the FAB give it a clean and then replace it As you can see, print fail, really, really horrible. That means there's something on the fab. Take away the print, take care of that later on. Now, let's see, as I thought, there's harder part on the bottom of this fab. So what we want to do is empty the tray, filter it, put it, we put it in a, in a container. Do this. Okay, we want to use some paper to help us getting off all the resin and as I told you see it's pretty damaged over here and when the light when the LED shoots the polymerizing light it will not pass through because here it's all damaged and it's impossible to clean so I need a new one. We close this and after we have cleaned properly all the sheet we can move on the desk and unscrew the 12 bolts that, that are here and we change this piece here. Here is the new fab from Nova 3D. As you can see it comes in this card box box. Here it is. left one to go and 
and here we are let's grab the new one actually I'm gonna give it a clean first because a lot of dirt this is a bit of isopropyl alcohol a bit of resin but here in between so it's better to take it off so it goes in place yeah that's it so what's going on here is uh, that you need to tighten all these screws really really hardly because the fab needs to be you know pulled and needs to be in tension in order to be flat and in order to be working the right way put back all of the screws Okay, now that the bolts are all in place, I will give an extra clean to it. Just to avoid any fingerprints outside and inside. That looks nice. Then I will move to the LCD and give the LCD are clean with isopropyl alcohol as well. Okay, here we are. We can put our tray back in and screw it. Looks nice and clean now. And we can pour our resin. And run a test print. We can try and run another test now. Now the printer has started as you saw bed is already dipped inside the resin hopefully everything is gonna be fine. This was something I had in plan of doing for the last couple of weeks I was trying and trying but once the fab gets to its limits it's better if you change it. I really hope you found this video useful Smash the like button if you did, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video.